Hello my six students, my young scientists. Today we have a very special science class. Today we're going to talk about coronavirus. Yes, that's science. And that's also going to help us understand what's going on these days. Okay, so please, first we're going to see some vocabulary you will need. Did you get the vocabulary? I think so. It wasn't that difficult. And you are a very, very smart child. So I think it was really easy. You're going to watch a video produced by province of Bolsado, Bozen, Italy. And it has very good, well-documented and well-educated information. Take a look at it and then we're going to, to do an exercise about it. The coronavirus is so small that you need a special microscope to see it. Corona means crown in Latin. If you look at it, you can see why. It's round and has little antennas that stick out of it, just like the points on a crown. Viruses are odd. They don't eat and they in order to live, they need to attach themselves to people. They travel in through the nose, the mouth, and even the eyes. Poof, just like that. They're inside you, and you could get sick. Luckily, our body knows how to protect itself. Special cells battle against viruses and try to get rid of them. These cells make up your immune system. There are many types of coronavirus. They all come from the same family. But this time, a new family member popped up. Because of this, our immune system does not know how to get rid of it. And that's why a lot of people are so sick. Some people just get a little bit sick, like us children, for example. But even if we don't get sick, we do carry around viruses, which can jump inside other adults, like our parents, grandparents, or teachers. That's why they close the schools. Since there are no medicines or vaccines, for now, the only way to stop the virus is to stop it from jumping from one person to the other. If someone sneezes or coughs, the virus travels through the air in droplets that can stick to door handles. If you touch one and then put your hands near your nose or mouth or rub your eyes, poof, the virus gets in. So, rule number one, the golden rule, wash your hands often and well. When I wash mine, I sing happy birthday twice. Also super important, when you sneeze, sneeze into your elbow. And no fingers in your nose. No, no, no. Keep a distance of at least one meter from other people. But the thing that works best is staying at home for at least a while. Like this, the virus will be so bored and won't have anyone to stick to and poof will go away. How did you like the video? 
you can always go back to it if you need it. But now we are going to see how much you could understand in regards to the video. So please go to science section and you're going to answer some questions I wrote there. Go to your science section in Schoolbeat. 